Good morning, children. Welcome to our social session. In that last two videos, in last two session, we have to learn about the rivers, how to how can they flow, and uh, what are the rivers started from, where the river comes started from that, how much how many types of rivers are there, what are they, and uh, where it is uh, located, and stages of rivers. In that last two session, we have to discuss. Them. What is the stages of, stages of the rivers? That is the source, course, and mouth. What is the course source? The place where the river begins to the journey is called source. Where that rivers begin to start, that place also called source. What is the course? What is the meaning of course? The spot in which where river flow after originate from that source is known as its course. Where that beginning the river started, it is called the source. The source started a way that is called course. And the point at which it meets the sea is known as its mouth. Where the rivers flow down, go to the river, the oceans, sea point. Where the river join into sea point is called its mouth. Ekadaite war nam nadi niru samudram lo galasa do a point ni mouth under. Ekada river nadi start ay dani source. A source oka veela vachche dani oka ve oka oka paaya ka vasun dani gada dani course under. This is this are these are the stages of the river. And next we have to go to tributary tributaries and distributaries. Tributaries means main river. Flows through its course. It is joined many other smaller rivers at times. Main river flows through the its course. It is joined many other smaller rivers at times. Yes, many rivers. Main river. Where the river starting the the river through the its course. Okay, well, we have done this. Then its course under. It is joined many other similar rivers. Where a point in that lo chhi main nadi lo galu se dhanne. Okay, time na galu se okay place lo. Dhanne mantaru tributaries. What is that? Many river flows through the its course. It is joined many other smaller rivers at times. That is called tributaries. What is the meaning of this tributaries? That rivers flows towards their main mouths. Rivers flows. It's going to main towards towards under end of it. They mouths many small outlets of water break apart from the river. Yes, rivers flows towards end of it. Now park on that. Look, that is their mouth. And the ekkada samudra mein log ganse choti ke malla poya kada ganse sir. Rendu rendu pail ke bade poya nadi park on that. Many small outlets of water. इंक मिगता वाटर मिगता फ्लो वाटर अच्छी ब्रेक ए पॉट आ पाइनिक ब्रेक जैसे इनको लाइन का वेल्थ उठता है दैट इस फ्रॉम द रिवर इट इस कॉल्ड डिस्ट्रिब्यूटरीज इट इस कॉल्ड डिस्ट्रिब्यूटरीज दे हैव टू गो टू स्मेल सेवरल वेस एंड दे गो टू जॉइन इन वन प्लेस दैट सी दैट इस कॉल्ड इट्स माउथ एनो पायल का वेरी पॉइंट है वो कच्चा होटल सी द ग्राम समुद्र में लगा लिस्ट है क्या दा आ समुद्र में लगा लिस्ट है वेरी पॉइंट समुद्र में लगा लिस्ट है वो ने ओके वे ना उन वेरे वेरे दानों अच्छी बाटर अन्य मेन नदी लगा लिस्ट है मेन नदी तो पार्ट समुद्र में लगा लिस्ट है दी ट्रिब्यूटरीज मे� Next, how many types of rivers are there? There are two types of rivers are there. One is perennial river, and next one is non-perennial rivers. What is the meaning of perennial rivers? It rivers originate from the glacier in the mountains. The rivers. It means here rivers originate from glacier in the mountains. If you look at the mountains, parvatala nunchi water. नदी का मारी उस तुम तो दो दाने पेरी रियल रिवर्स अंडर पेरी रियल रिवर्स अंडे जीवन न दो एक पढ़ के अंदर लो वाटर इंगी पोदू दे ये मोत्तमो 
water flow is neutral. That is called perennial rivers. What is that non-perennial rivers? It depends on rainfall for their water supply. It depends on rainfall, water, varsha kala matre me pare nadlani non-perennial rivers under. Yes. Mana da kare non-perennial rivers ne ya? Perennial rivers ne ya? Just check your point. I give. Okay na? That examples of what is that perennial rivers? The perennial rivers have continuously water supply. They never run out of water. Examples of perennial rivers? Indus, Ganga, Brahmaputra rivers. Perennial rivers. Non-perennial rivers? Non-perennial rivers depend on the rainfalls of water supply. They dry up when there is a lack of water rainfall. Lack of rainfall. That's why they are also called seasonal rivers. We can call that non-perennial rivers or seasonal rivers. And uh, examples of non-perennial rivers is the Krishna, Kaveri, Godavari and Mahanadi. In the last session we have to learn about that. Just I am recall to you what is the lesson we have to start in that. This much so much gap is there now that's why I am recall to you. And recollection to you the lesson about the lesson. We have to learn about the Godavari. Godavari is the largest, longest river in India. We know. It is known as the Dakshinakasi. These are the non-perennial rivers we have to discuss in. Krishna. Krishna is the originate from Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra. Godavari originate from where it is? Maharashtra, northwest. It is at the western gods of northwest in Maharashtra and it entrance to the Telangana, northwest in west of Nizamabad. It is northwest of Maharashtra and uh, northwest of entrance to the Telangana, northwest of Nizamabad. Which river? Godavari river. Yes. Next to non-perennial river, second one Krishna. It is the Orangate Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra. It is processed through the Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. Before flowing by way of Bengal, he is that Hamsala Devi in Andhra Pradesh, it is joined into the sea. And that next one, third one is that non perennial River, Kaveri River. It that it originates from Western Ghats, flows through the Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Two states it is flows. It is called Dakshina Ganga also in Bay of Bengal. Next to Mahanadi. Mahanadi is the non perennial river. Now Mahanadi originates Shiva mountains in that Dhantari district in Chhattisgarh. It flows to Chhattisgarh and Odisha. Two states it flows. Next we have to discuss, discuss about Narmada and Tapi. It is oriented near the Amarakonda, Amarakanda mountain range in Madhya Pradesh. Where it is oriented from that Amarakanda mountain in Madhya Pradesh and that it flows through the Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat means to the Gulf of Kombe in Arabian Sea. It is flows it is Narmada and Tapi is the flows in three, three states. What is the states? That is Maha, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat it flows and that it is that joining to the sea Gulf of Kambay in Arabian Sea. Where it is originate in the sea, it is joined in the sea, that is Arabian Sea in the Gulf of Kambay. And river Tapi flows parallel course to the south river of Narmada. Parallel, parallel means straight enough. Pa parallel, which river? Tapi river is that flows in the tap. Parallel course to the south river Narmada. South river of Narmada. It flows through the Maharashtra and Gujarat before emptying, emptying into Gulf Kombay. This also join into the Narmada and go and join in sea. Where it is? Bay Kombay of uh, where it is? Bay Kombay of Gulf Kombay of yes, Arabian Sea. It is originates from that flows par parallel course to the south river of Narmada. It flows through the Maharashtra Gujarat before joint, before ending into the Gulf of Kombe. 
it is joy go into that arabian sea now we have to learn about about now non perilial rivers now we have to go into discuss about that perilial rivers where it is perilial rivers yes next let discuss about that perilial rivers the rivers indus brahmaputra and ganga now we have to discuss about that indus it is that indus river is that originates near the la lake of manasarovar in tibet it is stated it is uh, that birthplace of uh, indus is that lake of manasarovar it is uh, originate from near the manasarovar in tibet and it enter it enter in india jammu and kashmir it enters in india jammu and kashmir and uh, it flows through the Laksh, ladakh and enters the pakistan before flowing into the arabian sea and it enters in india through the jammu and kashmir it flows through the ladakh and enters pakistan before flowing into the arabian sea is this indus river what is that doing indus river through the it flows through the ladakh and uh, it it enters pakistan before pakistan lo enter ayya mundu kashmir lo unna ladakh lo ladakh maina ladakh tone ikkada flow ayi next pakistan lo join ayyadu pakistan lo flow 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 ayyadu which river the indus river the indus river where it is originate near lake manas sarovar in tibet not in india in tibet it enter in india jammu and kashmir and uh, it flow the ladakh after going to pakistan it join into the ladakh place after flows to through the pakistan afterwards if he going to see in arabian join into see arabian sea next jhelum chinab ravi means and sutlas are the main tributaries of rivers of indus this indus river indus river tributary what is that tributaries tributaries of rivers jhelum chinab ravi beans and Satellites are the main tributaries why we can call them tributaries because of the main river is the indus river so many rivers and join into the main river afterwards they go into join in the arabian sea why what are the rivers yes which rivers are joining to that in that main river what is the main river here indus indus river indus river way which uh, small rivers are joining that jhelum chinab ravi beans and satlas these rivers are joining to the main river afterwards both of they go and join into the sea ocean where it is which oceans they have to join in arabian sea they can join next session we have to discuss about that brahmaputra and ganga rivers okay na children thank you